Anybody else? Last person before we move on with our next topic. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting the prices. There must always be prices. Well, I have an issue. You have an issue? <laughs> Slur, R, R. So, fee, yeah, 
turn. Yeah. Now, let's say the fast. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Theater. 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 Just to summarize, no is, 
just piss the ass and then go to the next one. Okay? There. This, this is kind of confusing as well. How do you pronounce words starting with ex? There are two rules governing it. Okay? The first rule, remember this guys. When words that start with ex are followed by a vowel sound, we're talking about a vowel sound, not a vowel letter. Okay? They are pronounced as either eggs or eggs. So there's a GZ sound. For example, see, I just said it. Example. We don't say example. Exam. Exemplary. Exact. Exotic. Okay? Exhaust. If it's a verb, if it's a noun, it's exhaust. Okay? Exert. Exorcism. Exorcism. Okay, now, if you're listening attentively, you should have heard that I pronounced this with a Z. Why? There's another rule. For words ending in SM, the S becomes a Z. Okay? Like spasm, exorcism. Get it? Yes. Okay, so you've got to listen actively. Exuberant. Exuberant. Does everyone know what exuberant means? Okay, when you're exuberant, you're tremendously happy. You're overly joyful. Okay? So, this is one way to enrich your vocabulary. Exude. You know what? I consider this an, an exception. Because this can be pronounced exude, but this can also be pronounced exio. So, there's no GZ sound, but KS sound. Exile. Exempt. Exempt. Uh, okay, it's just a repeat. Exhibit. Exhibit. Is that clear? Okay, so once again, pronounce these words with a G Z sound. Now, these are exceptions to the rule. They start with E X followed by the vowel sound, but they, they do not they are not pronounced with G Z. They're just X. See? Execute. We don't say execute. It doesn't sound nice. Execution. Exodus. Exercise. We don't say exercise. Are we clear? Okay. It doesn't sound nice, right? Exercise. Okay. But when words that start with ex are followed by a c sound, which is uh, produced by s or sounds like s. They are produced as X or X. Okay, commonly mispronounced Philip English word. Excellent. We got used to say excellent, correct? Yes. It's wrong. It's excellent. excellent. Because EF is followed by C or the S sound. Excel. Never say excel. Except. Never say except. Excess. Sobra. Never say excess. Excise, cut. Never say excise. Excited, never say, oh, I'm so excited. That's wrong. So how do you pronounce it? Excited. Oh, I'm so excited. And I can't help it. <laughs> and then? Exceed, not exceed. But there's an exception to the rule. This one is not pronounced excerpt. It's excerpt. So even though EF is followed by a C, it has to be pronounced with a G C sound. Am I going too fast? Or are you able to digest everything so far? Okay, great. Once again, let me keep on reminding you about this over and over again. You might be knowing about these rules now, but it's all up to you. If they're just being heard, but not being listened to, or not being absorbed in your system, then this whole seminar is useless. Okay? So now that you know, tomorrow, or starting tomorrow until the succeeding days, when you're going to encounter these words, if you're going to use these words in your daily conversations, stick to the correct ones. That's how I did it. And that's how you should do it yourselves. Okay? <clears throat> Next. So there. Now let's practice some commonly mispronounced words by Filipinos. And I'm going to need your participation, okay? <clears throat>
Because, you know, we bought these for you guys, not for us. So, how do you pronounce the first word? Come on. Let's start with you. How do you correctly pronounce the first word? This is a test. Bear. That's the Filipino pronunciation. But I'm going to tell you now that that's actually pronounced cleanliness. Okay? So I'm only going to give prizes to those who will get it correctly. Okay? No cleanliness. Oh, yes, the base word is clean. But that word, that derivation from the base word clean is pronounced cleanliness. Okay? Next one. Let's do it this way from top to bottom. And then go to the next column. Okay? How do you say that? Cool. Okay. Cool. That's a Filipino pronunciation. The correct pronunciation is whole. It sounds the same like the whole. Next. Okay, we just practiced it, so lucky you, you're going to get one. Scams. Okay, there you go. Scams. Okay, we also talked about that. How do you pronounce that? Nose and no any. Okay. All right, that one. Okay, Filipino culture. It's actually pronounced culture. Culture. I heard you say it correctly, so I'm gonna give you. Yes, guys. What sound is that? Shwa. Culture. No culture. It's culture. Okay. There. Area. In the bin. In the bin. Okay. How do you say that? Filipino pronunciation, berry. Do you know that it's pronounced berry? berry. Just like strawberry. Okay? So, hey, you're going to be buried tomorrow. Okay? How about B U R I A L? The act of burying someone. How do you, how do you pronounce that? Burial. It's the same. Burial. Okay? Oh, <laughs> Okay, Harriet. Okay, this right. Ready? 
Uh, say that again. Okay, very good. That's the correct pronunciation. How do we often, you know, pronounce it? Menu. Sir, what's, what's our menu for today, right? It should be everyone. Menu. Menu. There's no such thing as menu. Okay. Next. So, am I doing the test or is it? Okay, well, it's between two vowels, so it should be right. Alright, so when you give instructions, all rise should be this. Okay, next, let's. Okay, that's the Filipino pronunciation. Jeopardy. It should be Jeopardy. Okay, guys, on this side, say Jeopardy. Okay, not Jeopardy. Okay, next, it needs to push, right? So, how do you need to say that? Okay, there, that's the Filipino pronunciation. Show. It should be shua. Ah, shua. Very good. She said shua. Okay. So, I'll shove it down your throat, not I'll show it. Oh, we practiced that. So how do you say that correctly? Very good. Okay, going back there. Lucky you. Gross. Okay, how do you say that? We all love that, right? That's the Filipino pronunciation. It's either pizza or pizza, right? But it's pizza. Pizza. They're pizza. Okay? Next. That's the Filipino pronunciation. Flamo. Even though it comes from the base word flame, that's not pronounced flamo. It's flamo. Why? Because there are two M's in between. And that is flamo. Next. There. That's the Filipino pronunciation. Evaluate. It should be very good. Evaluate. Very good. Okay, can everybody please say evaluate? Evaluate. That's correct. Okay, next. Oh. That's the Filipino pronunciation. Okay, now listen. You you might be surprised. The correct pronunciation is coco. 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 Yeah. So not cocoa, but cocoa. Cocoa. Okay? Now you know. Next. Okay. You know the rule, area. You should all be on how to pronounce it. You know the rule. With an S or with a Z? Z. Very good. Rose. Okay, Joel. Comforter. Okay, very good. It's comforter. Okay? So not comfort. Not comfort, or there's no such word. Right? It's comforter. Comforter. Why? Because the base word, let's, re let's remove ER. What's the base word? Comfort. Do we say comfort? So it's not comforter. Okay? It's comforter. Alright. Uh, did I all give you your? Okay. Let's. Very good. How do others say it? That's wrong. There's no such word. Okay? Next. Very good. How do, how, how do other people say it? Amy. 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 No, I'm not nice to her, you know, Brent Vermont. Okay. Um, next, wait. Okay, that's the Filipino pronunciation. Do you know that the P? Oh, 